just as we had predicted earlier on, the year 2020 will be the year that is going to determine Kenya's future in the days to come. As a result, we at Lee McQueen have lined up delicious political analysis to fill your political hunger as more political drama unfolds. But first things first, Kamakawa, Hapa Jukwani, this is your political commentator, George Lule. Today's analysis, we are going to look at how Team BBI should handle Team Tangatanga's offer to join the BBI awareness campaigns. In this section, we are going to dissect the strategies that Team BBI can use to overcome the intelligent ways that Team Tangatanga are bringing on board with a view of destabilizing Team BBI campaigns. Strategy number one, adopt the open arms one eye strategy. I repeat, Team BBI must adopt the open arms one eye strategy. I'll explain below. You see, with Sunai's Tempe Junet Mohammed having already given out signals of friendship to Team Tangatanga, Team BBI must from now on be alive to the fact that elements within Team Tangatanga have encroached or have every reason and intention to encroach the house with the aim of turning it upside down. A little bad whispered to me that during the night meeting that DP William Ruto's house that during the night meeting that was held in DP William Ruto's house on the night of 21st of January 2020 in which resolutions to join or look like to have joined team BBI was arrived at DP William Ruto specifically advised his team Tangatanga Tanga to adopt the strategy that was used by Raila Odinga a few years back during the Kanu LDP Maja, in which Kanu suffered serious fatality after suffering from fatal political constipation, courtesy of having swallowed a substance that was indigestible in the form of Raila Odinga's LDP. Kanu thought that they had thwarted LDP. Jogo thought that it had swallowed Tinga. Little did Jogo know that by swallowing Tinga, it was going to have serious political constipation that would eventually lead to Jogo's death. Now, by swallowing LDP, then Kanu and its handlers thought that they had finally vanquished Raila and his LDP only for things to turn out ugly for them much later. This way, Team BBI will have already known and anticipated the ill political motives of Team Tangatanga Tanga and procured appropriate political antibiotics for the possible political infections likely to be caused by Team Tangatanga's Tanga's International, internal and well-planned political bacteria. Strategy number two. Infiltrate Team Tangas Tangas in a co. Infiltrate Team Tanga Tangas in a co. The second strategy that Team BBI must use, if at all, they are to destabilize William Ruto and his brigade. Well, as we all know, there is no single boring day in the game of politics. Everywhere in the world, no day can be boring in the game of politics. This is how. Just as countries and corporations spy on each other, the spying game is no stranger in the world of politics. As a result, the BBI team must lay out elaborate plans of ensuring that they infiltrate Team Tangatanga to the highest levels 
politically, economically, and socially with the aim of ensuring that they will always be ahead of the game at any given point in order to prevent any surprise tact by Team Tanga Tanga. Now, to do this, they must start by ensuring that once they have embraced and in bracket, embraced in bracket, Team Tanga Tanga, who will have reached out to them anyway, adequate and accurate information must be extracted from elements of Team Tanga Tanga besides using the assistance of state machinery to plant spice within Team Tanga Tanga. By doing so, Team BBI will not only be ahead of the game, but will at all times beat Team Tanga Tanga in their own game. Information is power. So they say, to get information, you have to do everything possible within your powers to do so. You must allocate every resource at your disposal to do so. For this to happen, you must be in a position to know what your enemy is thinking about. From the book of the Art of War, we are clearly told by the Chinese author that for your enemy to be properly vanquished, you must anticipate each and every move that they are likely to make. For you to do this, you must have people with intelligent information about the kind of plans that your enemy has laid out. Even in the Bible itself, spies were sent to go and spy on the land of Cana. And when they came back, they came back with information that that land is full of milk and honey. Brothers and sisters, spying is not evil. Spying is the way to go. If Team BBI must be Team Tanga Tanga, they must plant moles in the house. As we move on, strategy number three, which means Team BBI must adopt to be Team Tanga Tanga, is adopting the calm before the storm strategy. I will explain. After adopting the two strategies that I've mentioned above, the other strategy is to adopt that of the calm before the storm. Note that this will completely scatter Team Tanga Tanga to the very bottom of the sea. You see, once Team Tanga Tanga will have, wel will have been welcomed into BBI activities, but with limited entry, they will have lost course completely. Just like a river sometimes loses course, and the resulting effect is floods and extreme damage to the uh, society around that river. Because when the course is lost, the only resulting effect is confusion. It will be a lot easier to dismantle them this way and completely scatter them in all directions. East, West, South, North. Look, they are so used to having serious time allocated to them to spread false propaganda about their cause. They have all the time in the world. But in Team BBI activities or Team BBI events, that time will not be there. They are going to be denied that time. And as a result, they are going to feel so limited. A fact that will irritate them to the skies. Given that they love media coverage for purposes of enabling them spread their false and misplaced political gospels. Strategy number four will be to collaborate with the mainstream media to give rogue 
and abusive team tanga tanga members complete media blackout good people and people of god as much as kenya is a free and democratic society with media freedom freedom of the speech as enshrined in the heart of our constitution a major part of the agreement in welcoming team tanga tanga to team bbi should be media blackout to those who violate the agreement conditions set out for the agreement in team bbi events any member of team tanga tanga who shall attempt to try and propagate any ideology contrary to team bbi's agenda must be sanctioned by being given complete media blackout in all team bbi events ideally and if possible any team tanga tanga member who engages in outright violation of the law by using foul language must be given total media blackout by all mainstream media in Kenya intelligence information has it that nominated senator Millicent Omanga in cahoots with other rogue team tanga tanga members had planned to ferry rogue elements from the Rift Valley and Nairobi to go and disrupt the Mombasa BBI event but unfortunately their plans have been thwarted these are some of the reasons why it is important for team bbi to fully collaborate with the media in not only exposing and shaming the rogue, the rogue team tanga tanga members with their evil mischievous plans but to work out plans and give them complete media blackout such moves are some of the main reasons as to why team bbi must not should but must be alert all the way through a good case in point is the elaborate plan by team tanga tanga through the nominated sendent mini uh, millicent omanga oscar sudi and others to hire 20 buses for goons to go and disrupt the Mombasa BBI consultative forum such are the characters that must must be dealt a heavy political blow by the mainstream Kenyan media strategy number 5 engage more with governors and MCAs as opposed to MPs or parliament that is another strategy that team BBI must embrace moving forward engage more with governors and MCAs as opposed to MPs or parliament listen taking advantage of the sibling rivalry between the national assembly and the county assemblies while injecting various provisions within the law will definitely be a game changer for team bbi it is an open secret that both houses are composed of extremely corrupt and unhonorable characters both houses truth be told the national assembly and the county assemblies they have some of the most corrupt individuals we have ever seen on planet earth however going by the current situation whereby a large proportion of mps have already been compromised anyway and are being compromised on a daily basis to attend team tanga tanga rallies with the promise of between 300 to 500000 facilitated by looted public funds yet kenyans in <laughs> kenyans are not complaining even as much as complaining about such grand theft permitting that is between 300000 and 500000 permitting a member of parliament within team tanga tanga 
it is obvious that convincing them to join the other team will be an impossible task. In fact, it will be an impossible task to achieve as long as that team money channels are still flowing. By actively engaging the county government elected officials as opposed to rogue elements within the National Assembly, Team BBI will have mounted a big political war that Team Tangatanga will never in their imagined effort be able to overcome. Team BBI will have dealt what I can call a poisonous political blow to Team Tanga Tanga with a venom that has no political antidote. I'll repeat that so that you listen to me very carefully. Team BBI will have dealt a poisonous political blow to Team Tanga Tanga with a venom that has no political antidote. Now, as I conclude, it is important for Kenyans to wake up to the realization that things are changing very fast, especially within the political arena. This is so as Battle Royale has just begun. Based on real politic, real politic, as opined by one renowned author, Niccolo Machiavelli, the award-winning author on matters real politic. Indeed, the game has just begun. <laughs> Until next time, expect more political drama, been drama, Arab drama, ole drama. Mimi ni wenyu, George Lulei.